Alexander Dawit. Do you know John Alexander Dawit? Do you know him? John Alexander Dawit was behind the pulpit like this. Behind the pulpit like this. He called himself Elijah. And one lady in the room said, You say you are Elijah, but there is drought outside. Rain has not come yet. He said to the usher, Close the doors. The usher, as the usher was moving, said, God, this woman is challenged that I'm not Elijah. Bring rain in torrents. Then he knelt down like this. The usher was too late. When they got to the door, they did two days in the room. Couldn't leave the church. Rains in torrents. You don't know what I'm talking about. Do you know William Branham? How people would walk in like this, walk in and say, yes. They planned, three people planned and said, you will go to that lying prophet and tell him you have cancer. Let's see what he says. And they are standing there and William Branham says, next, next. And they went and said, oh, sir, uh, we have cancer. He said, the angel of the Lord is here and is telling me, you three of you, you are arranged while he's facing the window, sitting by a table with a green cloth on top, you arrange that you will come here and say you have cancer, that this your friend who has cancer, so that you test. And the angel of the Lord is telling me, now you have cancer. Do you know Maria who had Eta? Or are you all about makeup? And looking beautiful. There's nothing wrong in that. But he cannot take two hours in prayer one minute. Otherwise, that makeup becomes your God. And let me tell you one thing about makeup. It does not make the fire fall. Do you know what the Bible says about makeup? It says, and Jezebel put the mascara. Uh-uh. <laughs> now hear me well and hear me well before you remove the mascara just hear me hear me well hear me well baleka shomene she would get into town listen to me she would get into town 30 kilometers away people will start falling under the power I'm not talking about Christians. People will just fall, they all come and boom, boom. They hear another one fell, another one fell. Until it happened three times, they realized there was only one common denominator. And that common denominator was Maria Woodward Eta was in town. One time, even Kathleen Coleman and Maria had one testimony where they were in different locations. The hall was closed and decided to use the kitchen. As she grabbed the door of the kitchen, everyone in the kitchen fell. They say, what's happening? Then they see her enter. Using the ent kitchen entrance. Daughter of mine. Will you fall? Will they fall? Or will you fall? Do you make anyone fall? Do you demonstrate any power? That they say even men that did not agree women can be anointed were on the floor. They beat the dust. Now, now, are you hearing this? So I looked at these people and I said, God, ha, ah, Maria would win Eta. We go sweat. Mm. Brother Branham. And God said, choose one. There were seven of them sitting there. He said, choose one. I will make you like him. I said, this is it. We, we like power. I said, we, we like power. I don't know about you, but we like power. Without power, Islam differs nothing from Christianity. It's just a comparison of knots. I'm, I'm looking at these great generals and I need their power. He says, what do you, who do you want to be like? I looked at them. They are discussing. It seems as if they were not seeing us. But I look at them and they are busy discussing what they used to do. This is where I developed my, my mantra. 
I do not want to be the only general in heaven with no story to tell. When Paul says three times nearly shipwrecked by a storm called Eurekladon. But I leave. Ah, left me for dead. But I leave. When the apostle says they were, we were sown in two. When John said I was oiled in oil upside down. What is going to be your testimony when the general speaks? That the devil attacked me. I did not know algebra. What kind of testimony is this? We will stand with them and say, look at my leg. They tried to kill me. I went to Zambia in the days of Lungu. And I found him and his wife waiting at the airport. His wife was waiting there, trying to get me back. They said, we don't want you to have a conference here. They were afraid by my lips, I would turn him and remove him from power. Just by talking. Nothing. Then I went straight back to Britain. And I stood in the hotel there. And we were live. I said, this coming election on this day, day, this one, you will not win. God is rigging elections. <laughs> one mouth, one word from a boy from Zaka. We are able to see what is in the White House. I said, we are able to see what is in the White House. We even read and count the election ballot boxes and even the ballots before the ballots are distributed. Even men that did not agree women can be anointed were on the floor. They beat the dust. When I spoke about it here and I said, power is the differentiator, people argued. I said, this is not the word of God, but power. I said, no, 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 no. He doesn't understand that the Bible says the kingdom of God is not in word, but in the demonstration of power. If you go for the word, you will demonstrate power. They see this verse, they will still argue. Shout power! Power! Yes, we need the word. Yeah, but if the word does not produce power, it was not the right generator. There is a way to contact fire. I looked at those generals. William Marion Branham, John Alexander Dowie. And God said, who do you want to be like? Whoa. I said, all of them combined. Whoa. When I said that, the Lord looked at me and said, son, if you want to be all of them combined, I was doing seven hours a day. He said, imagine, hear me, hear me well. He said, imagine, imagine loaded with a little prayer. I was doing seven hours. He said, you want to be like all of them combined? He said, imagine if you just ate a little prayer. I said, from where? From seven hours to where? I said, He said, every morning I made it again. Laying the pieces of my life. On the altar and watch Whoa. the fire descend hey, the peace is every time i'm praying fire is descending fire is coming so what then is prayer prayer is a commodity prayer is a technology of congealing fire <laughs> 